white supremacy is not something you run into every now and then. Racism is not something that you encounter every now and then on a job. The whole job is racist. But I'm saying a person will say, you know, I ran into some racists on the job the other day. I think I think of some racism going on in that place where I work. Racism is the job. The whole thing is racist because the whole world is racist. There's nothing on this planet that's going on that is not racist. By racist, I mean what? That is not being orchestrated either directly or indirectly by those white people. Here again, I want to emphasize not all white people. I never said that, but it's being conducted by those white people who have perfected the institution of white supremacy. That was a choice, and it took them quite a while to get it together, but when they did, it turned out to be the greatest political and religious force that the world has ever known. There is no religious system on this planet right now that's stronger than the religion of white supremacy. I want to repeat that. There's no religion anywhere on this planet. I don't care if you mention Islam, Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Confucianism, Sokogakia, Mormonism. I don't care what ism you come up with. When the white supremacists speak, everybody jumps. That's what you go by. When they speak, everybody jumps. Everybody falls in line. Everybody starts running. They're trying to get their babies in their arms and, and running across the desert. And they're reciting their religious creeds and all like that. But they are running from the white supremacists if the white supremacists say, you better run because I will put a hurting on you. Yes, there is a God somewhere, but I'm your God, and you will obey me. That's the white supremacist creed. If you have dark skin, you will obey me. I don't care who you pray to. I don't care who you clap your hands to. I don't care how many hosannas you sing in your elaborate churches. When I step in that church and say, everybody out of here, you better get out of there. You better get out of there, and you know it. And you know it, not by Neely Fuller telling you this, but by your own experience. In fact, you can't even establish a church without my permission. I'm your Roman emperor, and you ain't figured out how to get me out of that position yet, which means I'm smarter than you are, all of you put together, all of you black, brown, red, yellow people on this planet don't have nothing for me, because when I speak, you jump, and that's proof that I'm supreme. And you can talk about all that ancient building the pyramids all you want to, and I will tell you, yeah, have fun. Talk about how you did this and how you did that. But when I tell you to get up out of that chair, you will move. When I tell you to sit down, you will sit in that chair, and you won't move until I say so. And I prove this every day. Neely Fuller doesn't have to tell you. Just get in my face, and you'll find out in about two seconds who your God is. And I've always proven this. Now, this is the voice of the people who believe in white supremacy. I've never seen anybody who didn't back down when they decide to get rough. When they really decide to get rough. Now, sometimes people get in their face and say all kinds of things. But it's one thing, if you're intelligent, have a little bit of intelligence, you notice the white supremacists don't move until they get ready. 